Australia's first air warfare destroyer, HMAS Hobart, can shoot down long-range missiles more than 150 kilometres away, simultaneously attacking land and sea targets, an important defence in the face of threats from rogue nations. A number of states, notably of course North Korea, are developing or have developed missiles with advanced range and speed. We must have the capability to meet and defeat them. The recently commissioned warship has been fitted with a new computerised combat management system described as the brains of Navy assets. To have assured knowledge of where people are and the capabilities that you have at your disposal to be able to make decisions instantly. That intel could be shared with our allies at sea, including the United States. Two other destroyers are being fitted with the same weapons capability, HMAS Brisbane and Sydney, currently under construction. In 2020, work will begin on nine new frigates. The Chief of Navy hinting that these warships could be able to shoot down an intercontinental ballistic missile. The US Navy is looking at development over a number of years to enhance the capability that's offered. One of those may well be ballistic missile defence. For now, new technology will add an extra $3 billion to the cost of the frigates, a price the government is willing to pay to keep Australians safe. Jessica Dietrich, 7 News.